AMD is trading around $240 right now after nearly doubling this year and hitting a fresh all-time high of $267 just a couple weeks ago. And yeah, everybody's asking themselves, does this run continue or does AMD finally crack under its own weight? Because here's what keeps me up, right? I'm still bullish and skeptical at the same time. On one hand, AMD just secured a billion dollar supercomputing win with the US government. Two new systems, Lux AI and Discovery, both powered by instinct GPUs, Epic CPUs, and next generation architecture that could change America's entire AI infrastructure. On the other hand, the stock, it's priced in a lot of perfection. Massive growth, massive expectations, and massive pressure. But there's something inside the deal, right? Something that's buried beneath the headlines that could tell us whether AMD's next move is going to be a breakout or a flop. Most people, well, I think they're missing it, and you won't. That's why in this video, I'm going to break down what this deal actually means, whether Wall Street's new $380 target makes sense, and what retail investors like us should be paying attention to before putting even one more dollar into the stock. Hey, what's up? My name is Rick Orford. I've been trading since 1999, and no, I'm not a financial advisor. That's a good thing. I break down the numbers so retail investors like us can make smarter, more confident decisions with our money. Before we continue, I wanted to take a moment to thank our friends at Investing Pro for sponsoring this video. Now, I'm sure that you've guessed that I spend a lot of time working with information and just trying to make sense of the markets, especially for the videos that I publish on this channel. And I found this platform to be an exceptionally valuable resource. Here's why. Inside Investing Pro, you've got access to over a thousand financial metrics multiple valuation models, and a wealth of data that's presented clearly without noise or any distractions. It even lets you evaluate companies based on the fundamentals rather than on sentiment, which is something that I absolutely love. And if that's not enough, they've got another tool. It's called Warren AI, and it lets you ask direct, nuanced questions about any company. And then it gives you concise, data-driven explanations, something that would otherwise require combing through tons of lengthy reports. Of course, if you prefer a more systematic approach, check out ProPix, as it offers more than 80 AI-driven strategies across 20 global markets. And many of these strategies have demonstrated long-term returns north of 25% a year, which is really impressive. Heads up, InvestingPro is currently running their largest sale of the year, so you can access the tool at a 55 to 60% discount, plus an additional 15% through our community link. So if you're looking to deepen your understanding of the market, now is an excellent time to check out the platform. Advanced Micro Devices, or better known as AMD, is a powerhouse in the semiconductor industry. They design high-performance CPUs, GPUs, and AI accelerators that power everything from data centers and gaming rings to PCs and embedded systems. Now, the company was founded in 1969, and today AMD has grown into one of the most influential forces in modern computing. They drive innovation across nearly every segment of the tech industry. The company operates through four major business segments that together form the backbone of its strategy. And understanding these segments is the key to seeing where AMD might be headed next. Its data center division delivers epic processors and instinct AI accelerators that power cloud infrastructure and high-performance computing workloads. The client segment focuses on desktop and notebooks, and this is fueled by Ryzen CPUs. And it also includes the latest generation of AI-enabled processors that are designed for next-level productivity and efficiency. In their gaming segment, AMD is anchored by its Radeon GPUs and semi-custom silicon, which power the top-tier gaming PCs, leading consoles, and emerging cloud platforms. 
Lastly, the embedded segment supports automotive, healthcare, and industrial applications, and it offers reliable, power-efficient solutions for mission-critical operations. And with these four pillars, AMD continues to redefine performance, scalability, and innovation across the entire computing landscape. But the story gets even more interesting when you look at how AMD is growing beyond the hardware. The company is now expanding its footprint through software innovation, mainly through Rock M. This is an open source platform that enables developers to optimize performance and build AI applications across diverse workloads. And this seamless integration of hardware and software marks a significant evolution for the company, transforming AMD from just a traditional semiconductor manufacturer into a comprehensive computing platform provider that's poised to shape the future of artificial intelligence and high-performance computing. So AMD they're not just selling chips anymore. They're building the ecosystem that runs the chips. And that gives it pricing power. It gives it stickier customers and, of course, a bigger moat. And that's why the next part of the story matters even more. So let's see how the stock's been doing lately because that's probably why you're here, right? And the numbers tell a story on their own. Right now, AMD stock trades around $240. The stock is almost doubled. It's up 99% year-to-date and 78% over the last 52 weeks. On October 27th, the stock reached a new all-time high of $267.08 after releasing some big news. A couple of weeks later, the AMD is trading a little lower, but I think a bit of profit-taking was done naturally. But of course, the question on everyone's mind is, can AMD sustain this fast-paced bull run, or is it about to crater? Well, to answer that, let's circle back to what was released on October 27th, because this is a very interesting story. Now, in my last video, I discussed the AMD and Oracle deal and how it was a big win for Team Red. Then, on October 27th, AMD announced that it bagged another deal. This time, it's to power the next wave of US supercomputing with two new systems, Lux AI and Discovery. And both of them are designed to advance the nation's leadership in artificial intelligence and high-performance computing. So this is built in partnership with the US Department of Energy, and it's going to be deployed at the Oak Ridge National Lab. And these next generation systems should drive breakthroughs in science, energy, and national security while strengthening America's push towards sovereign AI infrastructure. And the scale of these systems says so much about where AI or AMD stands in this AI race. Let me explain. The first system, called Lux AI, is set to become the nation's first AI factory built specifically for science, and it's going to be launching in early 2026. It's going to run on AMD Instinct GPUs, Epic CPUs, and Pensando networking technology, all working together to handle massive data workloads. Lux AI is set to train and run large AI models that can speed up research in materials, science, medicine, biosecurity, and even energy innovation, which could help put the United States at the front of AI-driven scientific discovery. In 2028, Discovery is going to arrive as the next major supercomputer at the Oak Ridge National Lab. It's going to be built on AMD's next-generation architecture using Epic Venice processors and Instinct MI430X GPUs. Discovery is going to feature a bandwidth-everywhere design that's supposed to deliver incredible speed, scalability, and efficiently. It's also going to work seamlessly within existing exascale systems, such as Frontier, making it easier for scientists to transition their research while dynamically increasing computing power without raising energy use. And together, Lux 
and discovery represent a billion dollars in public and private investment in the future of American computing. And both projects support the U.S. AI Action Plan, helping build a secure and standards-based ecosystem for AI sovereignty and scientific innovation. With AMD technology at the center, these systems will now mark a new chapter in the nation's AI infrastructure. They show us, they prove that the next generation of discoveries will be powered not only by data, but also by Made in America technology. And that gives AMD a strategic advantage that I think I haven't heard anyone talk about. So what does this all mean for AMD? Well, to me, it means more validation for the company and its technology. AMD is at the center of some of the most important scientific and national security programs in the country, and it gives it both credibility with clients and momentum in the market. So with all that, is AMD a buy at these level? I mean, the stock's near the top, right? Well, consider that a consensus among analysts rate AMD stock a moderate buy with a high price target of $380. But here's something that's curious. On October 28th, AMD stock had a $310 price target. So today, at least one analyst thinks the stock has got a lot more gas in the tank. And honestly, I agree with that high target price. I mean, with Lux AI and Discovery, AMD is proving that it's no longer the underdog in AI. It's now on the same playing field as NVIDIA. And while it hasn't reached NVIDIA's market cap, it is steadily carving out a powerful foothold on its own, one major win at a time. But what do you think? Do you think that AMD can maintain its momentum and stay ahead in the AI race? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, if you found the video helpful, do like and subscribe because it helps others find the video, it'll support the channel, and you won't miss out on my next deep dive. Well, folks, that's it for me today. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.